Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Ta-da! And we're back. We are back. I know it's been a while. Uh, fuck. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. But uh, we're here. Hmm. We're here. We got beer. We're ready to review. That totally wasn't where I thought you were going to go with that. <laughs> Couple of couple of things to point out. Um, number one, there is a set of sorts. It's taken. Uh, this me isn't real. This is real life. This green screen looks real. Um, we've been kind of nomadic uh, reviewing for a while in different spots and areas, and uh, I moved into a new pad, and we had to we had to say goodbye to the old bar. Number two thing to point out, uh, I am sober. Sober as a judge. The last couple reviews I've been doing, I've been phoning them in uh, as far as my sobriety goes. Ryan, Big Fish Raglan. You're drunk. You're sexy. Uh, I don't know what the beer tasted like until I watched the video back. <laughs> which, he which knows is, as much as you do. <laughs> it's always when I watch it back, I'm like, holy crap, this is great. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. Mm. Uh, so those are a couple things to note, and I've, um, I've, I've had to carry the show a little bit <laughs> uh, since you started actually doing the shows when you had to carry it. So I'm stoked. Um, here's a couple things I didn't know about Clown Shoes. Uh, there isn't a brewery that's called Clown Shoes. It's it's well, like a, like a brand or or right. or the brainchild of, a, of someone that created the Clown Shoes. They went to a beer advocate contest and they they submitted Clown Shoes and it wasn't picked. And he went, well, shit. I'm just going to start brewing beer called Clown Shoes. Right. Um, they actually brew out of Mercury Brewing. Yeah, Mercury Brewing Company in Ipswich. Ips, 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 Ipswich. 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 Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just cool to see or to hear about somebody who has this dream, who has this idea, you know, I want to brew beer, I want to have this beer called Clown Shoes. Fuck it, let's just go find a place that will do it with us. And, uh, you know, they found one that Mercury Brewing Company, they found a partner who would be... Uh, be happy to help them out. And, yeah. And here we go. And so far, I mean, they've been blowing up all over the place. Um, they've been showing up a lot down here in Georgia. Um, I believe that they just expanded some of their production. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know any details about that, but, I mean, we're supposed to see more of yeah. it out here. Definitely. Um, like I said, we've had a few, so I'm, I'm kind of stoked about this one. Uh, the, I mean, the, the description of it sounds amazing. It's chocolate sombrero. It's a Mexican-style chocolate stout. Um, and I mean, the, the reason I picked this up, not only is it Clown Shoes, you know, so I, I like the beer, plus I like the name, their labels are always great, whoever their, their, you know, marketing people are, fantastic. But anyway, reading the uh, description, it, it's a roasted, uh, roasted dark malts, plus extra chocolate malts, plus ancho chili, plus cinnamon, plus vanilla extract, plus a chocolate-loving, beer-drinking, clown shoes-wearing, multi-limbed, gorgeous and glorious Mexican wrestler on the label. That is the recipe for a chocolate sombrero. <laughs> Yeah, dig it. Yeah. Just, there's so much going on, at least it's described in this. You're like fucking vanilla and, and cinnamon and, and chili peppers. I mean, a stout with a little bit of spice in it. We've had some and we've talked about it in the past. I mean, they're, uh, good. Mm. So anyway, I'm excited. 9% uh, ABV. It'll warm your cockles. It'll, well, yeah. <laughs> So we did a little bit of reading about, uh, about what, what some other people think of this beer uh, before we, you know, decided to, to crack open the, the bottle and start the show. We did research. Um, so we were looking on, on Beer Advocate gave it an 87 overall, and Rate Beer gave it a 98. 98. But I believe that was as an overall kind of uh, scoring, but not right. it got a lower score for the style. Unfortunately, I don't recall what that was, but it just as an overall beer. Uh, overall beer. Uh, a 98. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see. I just took a little snifferoo. A snifter? Wow. That so, is chocolatey. So yeah, it's def chocolate milk. Yep, chocolate milk. And then you can you can smell just just such a, a faint little bit of the um, peppers in there. The chilies. Just just a little hint of it. Um, I don't... In the scent it, itself, I don't get any vanilla... I don't really get yeah. any of the cinnamon. It's just an overpowering um, chocolate, chocolate cocoa. luchador elbow drop from the top <laughs> rope, uh, which I'm okay with. Like if it was just a chocolate stout, I'm like, all right, 
Now they're only chocolate stout, so we were just kind of hoping for a little bit more out of this. But uh, I mean, you know, maybe it'll come out in the flavor. Look at that lacing so, on there that just sticks to the glass. I, you can't even see light through this. I wish I had like a oh. flashlight to hold up this thing. It's just bl black. Black. All right. Black is my heart. <laughs> It's a little bit sweeter than I expected, uh, and, and a little bit less of that chocolate taste than I expected. I mean, it, I smell the chocolate more than I taste the chocolate. Yes. Um, there's a little bit of spice, I mean, very, very mild, very mild spice. Almost, I almost wonder if I'm imagining it, um, just because I'm expecting it. If you didn't tell me that there was chilies in there, I probably wouldn't have looked to pick that out of the taste. Yeah, but because so it says, oh, there's chili in there, then when I drink it, I'm like, I, I don't know if, if in my head, it's like subconsciously, I'm, I'm looking for the chili. Mm -hmm. um, the idea that caused you to question your reality came from me. I think That's I was, what I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. I, I'm afraid of, anyway. I think there was more, I, I was expecting a little bit more bite. That being said, I think this is a really good, it's really a very good beer. It's a good it's, chocolate stout. It's a very stout. tasty, smooth. Um, it's not boozy. I mean, for being nine percent, it's not boozy at all. I don't. I don't taste any alcohol. It, I mean, it almost tastes sessionable uh, for a stout. I mean, it's, yeah. it's kind of surprising to me. But I'm not tasting any vanilla. I'm not tasting any cinnamon. I'm tasting a little bit of cocoa, a little bit of chocolate, and um, and a little bit of that chili burn. But I'll, I think. Like we said, only, yeah. only because I'm expecting it. You know? And we're drinking it at a, at a good temperature. It's not really cold, so where it's hiding a lot of the flavors. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's not. I mean, it's not room temperature. There is some chill to it, but it's it's at the temperature to where I don't know, 55 degrees or something, where you should be able to pull out every flavor profile. It's not for me. It's not really a meal beer. I would have a, a hard time eating a meal with this beer. See, I could. I could. I, I, it's not as. Heavy. I mean, we were pouring it. I was thinking. Clunk, 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 but it's, it it's, it's light. Yeah. It's sweet. It almost tastes kind of like a black IPA, like a very yeah, yeah, like a black yeah, IPA. Yeah, definitely. It, it's not. It's not very heavy. Um, Just because it's dark doesn't mean it's heavy. I do have to say though, overall, I'm disappointed. Hmm. What were you hoping would be more? More oh, of? Oh shit! I mean, you read this this label and you're just like. Vanilla and cinnamon and, and peppers and, and, you know, like spice and, you know, I, ex I expected all of these things. And while it is a very sessionable, smooth, sweet chocolate stout, I, I'm, it I'm let It down. didn't deliver all those. I'm like, it's like, it's like going to see, you know, you're waiting to see a movie. You know, like the new Iron Man, you get all pumped up because it's fucking Iron Man. And then you go and see, which I haven't seen it, but you go... You go and you see the movie that you're so pumped up about, and you're just like, I mean, it was good. Disappointing, yeah. It was good, but I mean, you you hype yourself up so much you wanted that more. Uh, you yeah. wanted more, and that's that's kind of where I'm at. It's a good beer. I would totally drink it again. I would totally recommend it for someone who's looking for a nice sessionable stout, uh, and that's kind of a hard thing to say, sessionable stout. But um, this has been another edition of Drink Like a Fish. We're back, baby. Um, it's good to be back. Feels good to be home. Our new home. New home. Right. Yes. yes. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Alright, till next time.